if they see a girl, Evangelist Kaswale, God bless you, whoever is watching me right now. If today is your first is your first day watching this platform, please don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe, at the same time, tap on the notification bell so that when we drop the video, you will be the first person to watch it. God bless you. Today, I want us to discuss about, I mean, how God created us. Like, yes. Genesis chapter 1, verse number 26 to 27. I want us to learn something there. Genesis chapter 26. I'm reading verse 26 to 27. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image to be like ourselves. They will reign over the fishes in the sea and the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the wild animals on the earth and small animals that scroll along the ground. Amen. I want to take this part. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image to be like ourselves. That's the particular things that I want to talk to you about. In God's wisdom, in God's knowledge, he said, let's make human in our own image. He was talking about his own image. So that they will rule over the, the animals and the livestock. God has considered you to create you as his own image. God has favored you to create you as his own image. But what are you doing in return? The things that you are doing in return, you needed to thank him and do his will for him. But rather, you are doing the opposite side of it. You don't even appreciate that at the first place he came up with this thought to made you as his own image. You can you don't even think of it. Why did God make me like this as his own image? Because then God said, Let us make human beings, human beings in our image. To be like ourselves. God consider you to make in his own image. But you are considering that God didn't do it well. So you need to start doing what you want. You need to start to, to do what you like. What you need to do with your body. What you need to do with your face, with your body features, you are telling God that his wisdom is low. Do you know that so many people do insult God? Yes. Immediately you have makeup on, you are insulting him. Immediately you get lashes on, you begin to insult, insult God. Immediately you have lipstick, eyeshadow. Immediately you, you, you trim your eyebrows. You are insulting God. The people that's, that they've been, I mean, that they've been cutting their body. I don't know what is the name of that. Look, we said, I don't know what's the name. Yes. You are insulting God that God didn't make you well. God hasn't enough wisdom. To do what you like. This is what you are telling God. If you don't know. 
So many people are abusing God, but they don't know. So many people are insulting God, but they don't know. You are telling God that he didn't do you right. So you need to go and change your image. You've been changing your image as you want. But you, are, you haven't thought of it that one day when I die, the owner who made me, what is, what is he going to ask me? You don't think of it. Because Satan has blindfolded your mind. He has blindfolded your ears and your eyes. So you don't, he has even blindfolded, yes, your mindset. So you don't think properly. Let's read verse 27. Verse 27. Bible says, So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. You know, God created us as his own image. But ask yourself, what have you done to your image? He created us as his own image, male and female. So ask yourself right now, you as a male, what have, what have you done with your body? You as a female, what have you done with your body? Because he created you as his own image. But you've started to destroy your image. You said you don't like God's image, but you like devil's image. So you've started tattooing all your body, piercing, piercing all your face, piercing all over your body, piercing everything around you. You are insulting God because he thought in his wisdom to create you as his own image. But as soon as you got, as soon as you've gotten to this earth, you reach your, as you are now growing, or let's say you are now a big woman, a big man, you are deciding yourself that, you are deciding to yourself that God didn't make you well. So you need to do tag your body. You have reshaped your body. Be careful. Listen, God created female and male as his own image. But right now, ask yourself, what are you doing with your image? You are smoking with your image. God doesn't smoke with his image. You are fornicating with your image. God never fornicated. God never fornicated with his image. But listen, what you are doing right now with your image, the things that you are doing with your image, you are drinking alcohol, abusing it with your image. God never drank it. He made you as his own image, but look at you. What you've started doing with your own image. You've destroyed your image totally. You are insulting God totally. Why don't you stay as he has made you as his own image? Why don't you stay like him? He wants you to be like him. That's why he made you like him. But the image that he made it. You've destroyed yours. With tattoos you've destroyed yours he created male and female but now you are telling god that no you needed to come you needed to come on this earth as a male now you've transformed me as a male now as a lady you have transformed yourself into a male you are this is a, a big insult to god a female you have transformed yourself as a male and the male has transformed himself as a female a big insult people around the world people across the world are really insulting God he did you as he wanted to do to you but what you are doing back in return to insult him 
with what he has suffered to do for you. He suffered to make you with his hand. He got rested at seven days. He got rested in the seventh day. So he started doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, he got rested. Look how hard ship. How tired God was. But he forced to make you. As he has forced to make you, now you are insulting him. What he done, what he has done for you. You don't like it. You was using what belongs to Satan to destroy the image. God didn't use anything on his body. That's why he made you just like him, like himself. Why don't you stay like himself? Why don't you do his, why don't you do his will as he wants you to do? Why don't you be like him as he wants you to be like him? But rather, opposite way, you are being like Satan. God made you. Satan never made a human being. Satan never created a human being. But people on this earth, the more people on this earth are following satanic ways. We've left the one who made us. We've left the one who suffered for us. We've left his rules. We've left his laws. He, we've left his commandments. We are doing our own will. We are doing satanic will. May God forgive us. May God forgive us. May God forgive you. And forgive everybody. And forgive us all. God bless you. Think. As you've listened to this. You need to think. And think well. And ask yourself. What am I using to destroy this image? And start ask for forgiveness. And despise yourself away from it. Otherwise. There will be a big change. Otherwise. Your suffering is waiting for you to so change. There will be a judgment one day. Don't insult God. He has made you beautifully. Never insult him with what you don't need it to use or apply for your body. The things that we are applying for our body, we are insulting him. So think of it and think of it and ask for forgiveness. So that you will be saved. God bless you. My name is Evangelist Kasawale. Keep on subscribing, commenting, like and sharing on this platform. God bless you. Follow all my social media platforms. Evangelist Kasawale. God bless you. Bye.